Okay. Uh, dasar otomotif negara yang telah dilancarkan uh, untuk tahun 2020 hingga 2030 sekarang ni dah tahun 2023 uh, we are nearly halfway there uh, and as you know banyak perkembangan baru yang terutama uh, dalam sektor otomotif ni yang berkenaan EEV dan juga EV uh, dan di mana kita uh, dapat feedback daripada uh, pihak industri dan juga stakeholders yang lain uh, supaya kita memberi lebih perhatian kepada apa yang terkandung di dalam NAP yang dilancarkan uh, sebelum ini. Uh, saya saya percaya memang uh, berpendapat bahawa apa-apa perancangan pun terutamanya perancangan yang jangka masa panjang yang dalam dalam NAP ini 10 tahun. We need we need to be dynamic lah ya. Yeah? We have to be open to uh, making the necessary uh, changes. Uh, so I think Uh, I will be discussing dengan uh, pihak uh, kementerian kita dan juga agensi-agensi yang berkaitan supaya kita uh, review kembali apa yang yang telah dibangkitkan oleh pihak industri terutamanya dengan perkembangan teknologi baru uh, supaya Malaysia uh, automotive industry continues to remain uh, not just relevant but uh, be at best in this region uh, so Uh, your question was a bit early because I baru belum lagi uh, I have not make an official announcement yet because I'm trying to finalize this but based on the feedback from industries and other stakeholders I think it's timely that we uh, start looking at uh, reviewing the uh, NAP uh, to make sure that Malaysia remain competitive uh, and also remain as a and, and hopefully be a leader uh, in the the NAP uh, uh, our our automotive uh, sector going forward Uh, actually, kita we are going to discuss this. Uh, cuma, yelah, when we meet all the industry, I've been meeting the industry players. Yeah, and in fact, petani pun kita ada jumpa lagi industry players. Semua nak kita making sure that the because policy is important uh, when we start looking at the new technology. Uh, I think Malaysia, as you know, uh, has been identified what, as one of the key leaders in semiconductor industry, which is important to the EV industry, which is now important to the apa, apa, automotive lah kan uh, uh, electrical vehicle lah jadi dan juga energy efficient vehicle so i think we need to make sure that uh, in any plans not just any pillar uh, any plans that uh, has major shift uh, in uh, development especially technology advancement we need to be agile uh, and dynamic lah in our thinking kalau ada benda yang kita perlu ubah uh, kita perlu ubah uh, supaya In, like I said, in, 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 in the policy continues to be relevant. And I think that the new investment policy kita, automotive industry is one of the five key areas that kita nak fokus. Uh, especially, it cuts across all, uh, you know, digital economy, that's why.